Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a book review on Did I Mention I Love You by Estelle Maskamy. So this is the first book that is in the Did I Mention I Love You series and I actually purchased this book as my own so all of my true opinions are going to be in this video only. So I've actually owned this book ever since the book release. I remember walking into Porterstones, looking at the table and being like this book sounds really really good and I've only just recently picked it up and I'm sort of thinking like why didn't I pick it up sooner because it was really really good. So first of all I'm going to start off with some trigger warnings. We have child abuse, we have a stepbrother stepsister romance in this book as well as a psychotic sort of girlfriend. If one of your favourite tropes like myself is forbidden romance then this is one of the books for you because of the stepbrother stepsister romance that happens between these two characters. The tension of the feelings that these characters have in this book between each other is really really strong. You can really really see the vibes of it. So if you don't like that trope, if you find it really uncomfortable, then this really isn't the book for you. But if you do, then carry on. So this is Estelle Mascamay's like first big ever series. She has written a book called Dare to Fall as well. I have not yet read that. This is the first book that I've actually read by this author but I have already intentions of starting to continue on with this series and read her other books. She's just really really good at telling stories. She's really good at getting your attention and get you obsessed with books. So this is the story of Eden who basically one day has to move to her dad's for the summer and her dad has married this woman so she's now got a stepmother and she has to learn to live with her three step sons and Tyler is literally one of the worst. He is pretty much a brute, he's rude, he just goes to parties and there's alcohol and there's drugs involved and Eden ends up getting involved. As soon as she moves, she makes these friends and including Tyler's girlfriend and she gets invited to these parties so she is being dragged under as well into the world of alcohol and as well she is learning to live with these stepbrothers but the one that she finds the most challenging is Tyler because of it and then eventually throughout this book they develop this relationship where they just can't help sort of like hang together and they can't help being together and then eventually sparks fly, there is tension, there's angst between them and they just are pretty much connected to each other, they can't help being there for each other and they can't help forming for each other and it really is honestly a story about that and there's just a lot that goes on. There's a lot of opening up that happens in this book which is why of the trigger warning of child abuse and it's it gets you right here and I just I just think they both go together so well because they just both are there for each other and it's just it's really really good. What I really liked is Estelle has a way of grabbing your attention and getting you to read. This is a beastly book and I'm a slow reader but she manages to make you addicted to the book. There's always something that happens at the end of the chapter that gets you being like oh I just want to read more and I found myself that even when I went to work I would be thinking about this book that I would like to come home to work to read it. My favourite part of this book was the conversation between Tyler and Eden where Tyler just says that he just wants a distraction and that scene <laughs> is my favourite of all like of the book because oh my heart. <laughs> the ending leads you on to wanting to read more because it ends in that way where you're sort of like oh what's going to happen next there is like open possibilities I'm so glad there is a sequel if there wasn't I would honestly I'd be chasing up a style and being like what I need the next book now. So of course I think it is totally worth buying this first book that's in this series. I'm so glad I mentioned it. If you really want a really good contemporary romance 
forbidden romance with some sort of like realistic topics in then I suggest this is for you I I adored it so so much I loved it and I cannot wait to continue on with this series so massive thank you to Estelle for writing this book I really really enjoyed it so so much and of course I had to give it five out of five for Kit Kats all the way it was so so good so that is the end of my non-spoiler book review on did I mention I love you by Estelle Mask Me if you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have read this book let me know down below what you thought about it if you haven't read it and if it's something you'd like let me know as well even if it's not really your thing let me know if you have read any similar sort of books to this let me know too because I'm always on the lookout for forbidden romance books but I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are all of my social media links as always will be linked down below in the description if you'd like to follow me elsewhere if you don't want to miss a single video that I upload please click on the bell notification icon and subscribe to my channel where it would honestly make my day thank you very much for watching my videos always keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is Katie and I see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye Thank you.